Hi guys, in the last video we saw has entry, has key, has value assertions. Okay, now in this video we will be seeing has item and has items where are now we can use these assertions. Okay, and this is very useful in like day to day your automation scripts. So let's get begin here. So let me write here. Sorry, given. Okay, let me first import the necessary just import static org dot hamquest dot matches matches yeah dot star yeah. We are good to go now. So given dot uh, get given dot get what was the URL we were looking users perfect dot then dot sort that okay set that dot dot body okay so in body hmm. so why still it is telling like yes dot matches this is fine right ah. correct only Even dot get uses then insert that body so let's go here and first see what and all users are available here so currently we have one users okay so now uh, has item where it works suppose in an array suppose for example for example you have an array okay here one so three six seven nine two five zero like that so in this suppose you want to check whether one value is there we are not bothered like where, where exactly that value will be at which index like uh, it, it should be starting and position it should be anywhere at any place okay so in this case we used to use 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 has item okay has item assertion so so it will tell you whether that particular uh, has item just you need to provide what value you want to check so for so here in this for yeah it is there so what it will do it will pass that uh, that test case okay it means like this item is available here so we can check a string also integer also like that and what is has items in has items we can instead of verifying one one value in this we can verify multiples okay so just we have to write like this has items suppose here four we have then we want to verify zero then we want to verify two so see four zero two so here four is there zero is there two is there then the, in this case it will pass suppose four zero twenty one we want so this 21 is not available in this but 4 and 0 are available okay so it will throw exception like like you were expecting these these three but this is not there and uh, not there in the given collection okay so this is what it is so let's go and check in the examples okay now given dot get users then dot assert that dot body okay dot body then what we'll try to see we'll check this other number okay so to get up the to reach to other number uh we have to write like this yeah dot other number comma has item okay and has item what is that item this is the item <laughs> okay we'll check whether this is available or not see here see here what it is returning it is array okay array of json objects inside this we are so the response whenever we will fetch the details it will always come in form of json object and multiple records will be there currently we have only one that's what we are getting only one 
okay so let me add one more and so it will be more clearer okay so now we have added one sachin okay let me get users so now here we have to so when we will fetch like address details dot other number what it will do it will give this value and this value okay so in these two values we want to check whether this exists or not okay so we'll see uh, address details or other number that has item okay perfect let me run this test case so and run. yeah perfectly fine see here it is it is passing it means our uh, it, this value is present let me do some changes here and we'll do some negative version so that it should be intentionally see this is what we are trying to search but do we see any such numbers over there say this this is one and this is our three two three four five but this three two three four two is not available it means it should fail this time so just go run it yeah see it failed right see a collection containing this string this is what uh, we were expecting but actually it is having only two value this is the uh, second one this is the first one as we can see in the this get users response okay so it faced all those two and it tried to find whether this value this item is available in this or not so it is not available so so it got failed so this is what you can use has assertion or has item assertion okay now let me add some more okay let me give rahul let me give this value zero five this should be six here nine here t six imply five like that okay let me add this so now in response we will get rahul as well because we have added rahul okay see the uh, we got rahul and id is nine so now now so using some api so this post api suppose you have inserted one record and you want to check whether that record got inserted or not it means if you'll fetch the name name with rahul it means whatever record you are trying to add it got added okay so in that case you can do like this so suppose just now we inserted Rahul, right? So see, this is name. So instead of going here directly, we can type name and has item Rahul, okay? This is what we inserted, right? So now let's run it. So if it will be there under response, then it will pass or else it will fail. So as we have inserted, so it should pass. See, it is passing now. So now let me try to delete this. See, Rahul 2 is not available, okay? So it, it means it should fail this time. Our assessment should fail. This Rahul 2 is not available in this. Way. So what and all names are there? It will tell like under those names, Rahul is not there. See, the actual values were, were little l by kr1 searching Rahul. And this Rahul 2, you are trying to search this, this Rahul 2, but it is not available in this. That's what this test case is failed. So our requirement is we added one user whether that user uh, present in get user list or not so like this you can tell now suppose we have uh, inserted multiple users okay suppose instead of rahul make it pankaj okay pankaj or as uh, we can use ravi ravi make some changes few values seven just be well isn't we i'm not changing everything Stand. okay so this is what we are inserting we are inserting ravi okay so response is successful it got inserted now let me insert one more uh, uh ranjit okay okay now we are inserting ranjit with some other number some values okay so so now what we did we inserted two records so, okay now after inserting these two records we you want to assure whether the records what you have inserted it got inserted or not so what and all we inserted we inserted ravi and ranjit extra okay so in that case if we want to check whether multiple records are available or not in the 
the uh, response, whatever the collection will come under response, whether those values are there or not. So in that case, we will be using has items. Okay. So has items, then just give comma and give range it and we can give one Ravi, right? We inserted two. So now we'll see whether these two got inserted or not. So it should be passing because we have successfully inserted these two records. Okay. Two records with name Ravi and Ranjit. So see now it is passing, right? So suppose we haven't inserted anything and we are trying to search. Suppose uh, we are since, uh, trying to search for, for uh, Suraj. Okay. Now let's see. We'll run it. We'll run it and we'll see what is the expected output. So see, it is failing. A collection containing Ravi, a collection containing Ranjit, and a collection containing Suraj. So this is what our expectation was. But actually, we we don't have this uh, as specific as uh, this Suraj is not there. So so it is failing. It is telling like you are expecting these three, but these three are not available. Level means either anyone is not available. It means our assertion is failing. So while asserting, it should be exact match. Okay. So here. Here, the Suraj is not there. That's what this got failed. So let me try with Sachin. Okay. The Sachin is available, right? The Ranjit, Sachin and, uh, and Ravi. Okay. Let me run this. It should pass because all the three are available. Yeah, perfectly. See, this is what how it is. So this is what you can use. Has items and has items. Okay. Both comes under, under Hamcrest matches. Uh, assessors okay so that's it for this video uh, we'll see see you in next video